the anatomy and physiology of mammary gland. Present in both sexes, after puberty, it develops under the influence of estrogen and progesterone. During pregnancy, there will be further development of the other and becomes ready for lactation. At the moment, you first touch a cow's teats during milking routine. A signal is sent from the other across her spine and then all the way up to the brain, communicating that it's time for milking. The brain then sends a hormone called oxytocin down to the heart. From there, it gets pumped the rest of the way to the other, where it squeezes the milk down into the teats. The other form of glandular tissue, fibrous tissue, and fat tissues. It consists of lobes. These lobes are made up of many lobules. The lobules consist of groups of alveoli. These alveoli opens into small ducts. These small ducts unite to form the large ducts called lactiferous ducts. The shape of the other was classified as pear shape, such as globular shape or pendulous shape, while teats was classified as a funnel shape or cylindrical shape. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching.